Okay, and we're live on Amazon. I'm just about to start my swimsuit, swimsuit try on and I'm gonna start by putting this green tea mask on. It's by Tony Moly, it's called I'm Green Tea and we will add it to the carousel. It's not in there right now. I ran out of time when I was doing everything and trying to get stuff together and find it all and uh, the mask that we put in the cart, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I know I have it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Okay. Oh, you did? Carissa says, OMG, I found you. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm excited too. Thank you for finding me. Welcome. So I'm just going to get this mask on my face. It's just going to just calm my skin and hydrate it. And it's called the Hydro Burst. And it says, waking up with dull and tired skin, this refreshing morning wash off mask is exactly what you need with a lightweight gel texture. Our morning mask is infused with natural green tea and aloe extract, which will help you start your day with calm and cool and hydrated skin. Perfect. That sounds like a go. Let's do that. And if you don't know, Tony Moly products from Korea are so inexpensive and such a good deal. And um, yeah, we just, we just love Korean products especially affordable ones. Hey, me Sama, welcome Bev. You are so sweet to me, thank you. We're just, you know, trying to keep this show moving forward. All right, I did go to hot yoga this morning. It was so nice. Okay, there's one thing that I've been wanting to tell you guys. And um, I've been like a little quiet about it, even though that's not my nature because I, didn't want to share if I like failed, but tomorrow will be three weeks since I drank sugar free Red Bull. I know I'm not going to go out on a limb and say like I'm cured from that addiction because honestly right now all I want to do is crack one open and it's probably why I've been really tired the last couple weeks too is because I haven't had my infusion of energy, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am trying to be so much better about my water and I am off the sugar free Red Bull. So Okay, the first suit we're gonna try on, and so for those on YouTube, we will list out everything that um, I have in this live and the direct links, but for Amazon, I will toggle what the product is I'm using because I can do that, and for TikTok, if you just wanna go to the Amazon live, you'll be able to see it all, or if you go to the YouTube um, where I'm streaming this, you'll be able to see all the links, so anyways. There you go. Okay, I am wearing my robe because I do have the first suit on. Let's <laughs> so make sure it's like situated correctly on my body. <laughs> and um, and we'll just we'll just look at it. Hold on. Let me just make sure I'm okay. All right. <laughs> I've been sitting there for a while, so I wasn't sure. All right. So here is this first one. I actually wish I had ordered this one sooner because I really liked how the top was and how the bottoms were. So um, I think this is like actually a really great suit. Let me see if I can like show you the back of it. Yeah. So I, I like this suit. There's no like class for anything for me to do, which I'm not good at. So it's just like a pull on over. It did come with cups, but I removed them because I don't like having those like in um, my swimwear. I just don't like dealing with them. But Anyways, so I really like this one. It's called the, it's a peacock color and it's only $35 on Amazon. I know the color, right? I love this color too. Oh, and then just to, for full like disclosure, I do have a self tanner on. I did it yesterday. And the one I used was the Saint Tropez self tanner. This is the classic one. So I put this on after I showered in the morning and I basically just like let it sit on my skin for like eight hours then I rinsed it off and this is what it left me with like you can see okay <laughs> look at the top of my back because you can see where I didn't get to so you can see the difference in the color because of my inability to like get like right into that center of my back myself but hey now you now you see the color right okay so this one's pretty good it comes out as a mousse and then I just like wipe it on with one of these mitts 
And so, anyways, I put that on yesterday so that I'd feel a little bit more comfortable in a bathing suit because, like, I'm so white. And you know what's so frustrating about those pictures I took on the last day in Tahiti is that, like, all of my self-tanner was completely gone. And obviously, I didn't tan there. I didn't, like, lay in the sun because that would just be crazy. So, um, I was, like, so white. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, okay. I really like this suit. I think it's a really good deal. It fits really well. I'm wearing a small if that gives you like an idea on like size and fit. And I know everybody's like always like, well, how do the backs of these fit? So they're like, they're not like super wide, but they're not super cheeky either, which was good. Like, I think it's like a good, I think it's like a good like cut in the back. So happy about that. Okay. So that's the first one. As we do our skincare, <laughs> and go over stuff, I will put on the other ones. But we'll take off my face mask now that we just did that. And um, couldn't reach, yeah. I know, the struggle, it's like, I can't get to it. Um, I should have probably, I should have probably taken these up a little bit. I think, is there a, is there something on it? Oh yeah, there is, so I could, hold on. Let me see if I can make this a little higher. See, I can't do anything behind my back. I have to like pull everything to the front, otherwise I can't see what's going on. Okay, yeah, that, lifting that made it better. Just a little bit more secure and lifted. Okay. Okay, so adjusting the straps, I think made it just like a smidge better um you can't do the thong look uh you and i neither like yeah uh, i'm that would just not i don't think people want to see me do that like that would just not be an attractive thing on the beach like the fact that i'm barely wearing a bikini is like a whole new adventure so okay we've got our robe back on let's rinse off our face and uh check the chat <laughs> the suits that what did you say that suit still needs to come to my house for oh the suit needs to come to your house for sure yeah no i i like this suit um i really like how it fits so i might get some other colors Okay, so now I'm just going to wash this off my face. And Vanessa says that Amazon sells a great product for getting to the middle of your back. Yes, I know. I'm like that lazy person who's like, I'm gonna get it. And I'm like constantly like whipping my hand around my back trying to get the middle. And um, and then like my husband had some kind of mat. I think it was for Nair. And I used it. And the self-tanner, it was like a white, like extended mitt thing. And the self-tanner like made it all black and dark which I felt really bad about because I like totally stained his nair mitt for reaching the middle of his back but he's getting laser hair removal right now so I don't know how much more he'll ever like do nair also I did do a little bit of that self tanner on my face yesterday so that's the reason you kind of see that my face is just like a smidge darker maybe like it looks a little tan but it's not it's just self tanner <laughs> throw a rash guard over the top and run to the beach yes exactly tisha oh the other thing that i hate about self tanner sometimes is like i'll do it at my neck but then ha have you guys ever noticed that it kind of like breaks apart where your neck bends and then you're almost like left with these like blocks of self tanner in your neck i like I feel like that's what mine does all the time. And I'm like always like rubbing on it, trying to like minimize how it looks. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Next, let's put in some hydration with this watermelon gelato gel. So it comes with the Lidora. So if you guys have ever uh, watched me use the Lidora. So here it is. And it comes together with it. And so... I'll just like put some in my hand 
And since we're not trying on bathing suits right now, I'm gonna pull YouTube in just a little bit closer. Okay, so here's the watermelon gel. We'll just coat it on our face. And then you just pick up this device. And th so this one turns on, it's different than the solo wave. So this one turns on, it does red and blue light, but it's vibrating. And then the head pivots also, and it's warm. So it's like vibrating and it's warm and it's giving you LED light. So I'm just gonna like run this around my face and just push in this hydration and do like a little lymphatic massage. So all that is is just like sweeping underneath your eye pulling it here and then dropping it down. And obviously this feels really good, especially right now because where I live and maybe where a lot of you guys live, the, um, the pollen is getting really intense. And so I feel like my sinuses are getting, like I can feel it right there, like the tension in my face. It actually feels so good to like push on it with this as it's vibrating. You can do it up on your upper eye. Just like lift it. And I just like rub it around my lip. You can kind of feel the tingling from the microcurrent too. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on this side of my face. Yeah, it's just the vibration feels so good. Jason says, what? Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were still on listening to me. You, you probably saw when I did that to your back, like reaching mat thing. <laughs> okay, so then, oh, I didn't really drop it down very much today. Oh, and in case you're new, I get asked this question literally every day, so I'm not embarrassed to answer it, but People always want to know how old I am. I am 41 years old. I was born in 1982. Like many of you guys know, I could sit here and just like massage my face all day long with this on lives. <laughs> It just feels so good. Oh, there is. There's a 15% off right now on that on Amazon. Okay, awesome, Tisha. Thank you. I love traveling with this thing because it just like easily fits into my travel bag for the plane. And then I can just like work on my face with this little LED vibrating heating tool like during the whole flight. So like, not saying that I'll massage my face for like 10 hours because that would be, you would just like wreck your skin if you did that. But I love, especially on the plane, being able to like run this around my face with some serum, help with like de-puffing my eyes, just helping with circulation on a flight so that you feel just so much more hydrated. And especially since planes, it can be so dehydrating. It's nice to have like, face sprays or a serum and then this and you just like work it into your skin and just make yourself feel so much more hydrated. Oh yeah, it's linked in the bio. bio. Oh, Granny says hello from New York. Hello, how are you? I hear New York is very hot. Okay, I'm using the Collagen Silk Cream Ampoule. So this is just like from Easy Do. I've shared it a few times and um, I just love how silky this product is on my skin. It just feels so good. Cause 
smells good too. But it does, it just like leaves your skin feeling so silky. You could also use this again. And so for instance, I'll put it on the blue setting just so you can see this. So if you had acne, you could just use the blue setting as you're massaging your face and putting in the product. And that's gonna help kill the P bacteria that grows um, in acne cysts when it gets trapped and starts growing acne. The blue light will help kill that bacteria. So if you had a zit and you just like stuck this on it, you could just do it like that too. I was noticing Miles this morning, my third son had a zit. It was like a big white head. I wanted to like pick it so bad. I'm like, okay, you gotta like, you know, be more more um, aware now of washing your face and how are you gonna take care of that? And I have tools that you can put on it to help bring it down, reduce the inflammation. So I've got a, it's that time in my life now where I need to start really focusing on my boys and their skin and making sure like, you know, things don't get out of control. Plus it's so different for me because with boys, like they really need to be instructed like every day on hygiene. Like <laughs> it's just amazing to me that boys just don't have the same concern for themselves as girls do. Eventually they do, but like this like stage that I'm at with the boys, it's like they really don't seem to get it. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> come on. Um, all right, so that was just like a quick little morning thing, like a little mask, a little hydration, um, just a little red light skin tool for massage. And like, I would just start putting on my sunscreen and doing makeup now. So I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't need anything else. I mean, a vitamin C would be great right now. Um, the Daily Dose, which is vitamin C and SPF by the Supergroup, is a great product to go right now. I do not know where mine is. Like, I know it was here, and I just don't see it. So, anyways, just know that that's a great product, and uh, I did have it at one time. I keep, like, looking in boxes to see, like... Is it down there? Where did I throw it? It's just, I throw things everywhere and then I can't find it. So behind me, you can see that there are a lot of different products. Okay, so if for instance, um, I was thinking about, okay, so what sunscreen am I gonna put on my skin right now? The one that I've been gravitating to the most right now is the Shiseido SPF 50. I really love how this looks. And obviously I can't put a million different sunscreens on my face, but what we'll do is we'll test them on my hand, but we'll put on the Shiseido one right now, just so you can see how pretty it is. And it's an SPF 50 and it has this like tint to it. Not saying that that's going to tint your skin, but it's not, it's not a super white cast. You'll see, and it just goes on like so nice and it's a 50. So you're getting like so much protection. I did take it on vacation. Okay. That's what I thought, Melissa. And so then I started like going through my travel bags and I was like, where did I put it? And honestly, I'm sure it's like right below my feet somewhere. I just, you know. <laughs> you guys, I'm so bad. Once I get out of this room, it's like, I don't want to come back here. <laughs> I even said this weekend, I'm going to stay down there and organize and put stuff away. And I didn't come in here once. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. Okay. Okay. So now we have this in. Is Shiseido a mineral sunscreen? Great question. Um, so it's a synchro shield. It's a wet force and heat force. They're not saying mineral on the outside, but they are saying water resistant for 80 minutes and it's an SPF 50 plus. I assume because they're not, let me see if I can see any, um, let me get this thing open so I can see their ingredients to know if they have any zinc in it. But they're not touting mineral, so I have, a, okay, wait. Uh, no, this is not mineral because now I see the actives that they're using. So they're using avobenzone, homosolate, 
octosolate and octocrylene. So, and then homosolate is t at 10% and the octosolate is at 5% in case you want. But yeah, so this is not a mineral. There is not a, um, a mineral shield to it. So meaning that there's no zinc oxide or something that is actually preventing the sun from actually penetrating. So in case you don't know the difference between a chemical sunscreen and, an, and a mineral sunscreen, a mineral is actually a permanent block, like a shield that the rays can't penetrate through such as zinc, which is why you'll see a big white cast. For instance, let's see. Um, okay, Isden, this is an amazing sunscreen and actually this one is 100% mineral, but it's awesome because it's ultra light. And I'll just put it on my face too. Um, this is a 50 and it is water resistant up to 40 minutes, but it's like super thin and it has like a really great like like i just think that the way that this one goes on even though it's a 100 percent mineral sunscreen it's gonna leave it's gonna have some white cast but not bad and once you put on you know some of your tinted sunscreen or tinted moisturizer or a BB cream or a foundation, like you're never gonna see the white cast, but basically you can see the difference. This one is a no, is 100% chemical. Chemical meaning that the chemicals in the sun shield absorb the rays and are able to like knock them out their power before they hit your skin. So they're constantly absorbing it and like neutralizing it whereas this one is completely blocking it off. Both need to be reapplied. Both are not like the end all one application solution, but these are both 50s and I think they go on really well. Like I really like these both. Okay. What's another one? Oh, the sun milk. Okay, this one's by Misha. And I think I have this one in here, don't I? Oh yeah, here it is. It's only $15. Okay, we also have the Super Goop screen. Let's see. I have this in two different shades. So Glow Screen, if you don't know, comes in like different tints. They're both SPF. Um, I don't think, these are both, um, these are not mineral. They're called Clean Chemical Sunscreen Actives. And they're reef safe. And actually, the same ones that are in these glow screens, the same chemicals that are in these ones are in the Shiseido. So same preventative factors in these. So the first glow screen that I ever used was the original, I believe. And it's just kind of like a, kind of like a, like a light sparkle. Like, it's just kind of like a, a dewy glow, which makes your skin look so beautiful. Then the one that I took with me to Bora Bora is called the Glow Screen Golden Hour. So this one actually had more pigment in it. You can see it's like much darker. And so this one definitely glows you up like more bronzy. I don't know. So this is like the lighter shade and this is, I, I don't know if that's like, oh yeah, right there. I think that's picking up pretty good. If you guys can see that difference. So this is the lighter one. This is the darker one. And I think, I don't know. I like them both. I kind of want to put on the dark one right now and see what it looks like on my face. My fa <laughs> We'll just keep putting on sunscreens until I probably have to wash them off. Okay, so here's that golden hour one. Let's see, that made me so dark. Then we need to try out another swimsuit. Who's ready for another swimsuit? Yeah, I agree with you on that, Lori. Lori says she feels like the, the white cast in, in uh, mineral sunscreens dries down flat like within an hour yeah I, I agree it's like initially you put it on you're like whoa I look so pale and then it kind of like eases in 
but guys do not like mineral sunscreen okay i've learned this so many times guys do not like it they think it's weird they don't like that their skin like goes like white they like they feel like somehow you put something on their face that isn't going to come off like <laughs> I'm just always like, no, it's good. They're like, no, I don't like this. Get it off. And I'm like, okay. So they, guys that I hang around, <laughs> aka my dad, my husband, and my four sons, they do not like mineral sunscreen. They just want spray and they want to, they want a clear spray and they just want to like shoot their face like this, like a second. So I don't even know how much this is getting on. And then they want to be done. And they're like, yeah, we did sunscreen. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You didn't do sunscreen at all. Um, Okay. Next swimsuit, okay, here we go. So that is that glow screen, which is the golden hour. So that is on my skin right now. Okay, so I wore this one in here. I'm going to um, need to change now. So just give me one second. I'm just gonna go behind the camera and change. And we're gonna put on this one. And this is the cheekiest one of the suits today. Whenever I do this part, I'm like, oh man, I wish that I could hear you guys talking to me be so much easier um, to respond back quicker if I could hear you won't that be interesting I bet there will be eventually like with live somehow you'll be able to allow people to maybe chime in uh, with their their actual voices I think that'd be awesome I would love that then it would even feel like so much more conversational for me than me, you know, kind of talking to myself, trying to watch comments. Okay. I actually really like the print on this one, too. Okay. You guys ready? Hopefully I have all the tags in. Okay, yeah. Okay, so then here is this swimsuit. So this one is super cute too. Let me just check, let me tag it for Amazon. And this is a three piece one actually. Okay, so I have it in small and the back of it is the cheekiest of the swimsuits I have today. So the back of it is just like cut, like it's cut through the, you know, cheek, I guess. Like, so it's just a little bit narrower. And then it comes with a coordinating little tie for your waist. So it's actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh no, how am I gonna do this? But actually the material is really like, it's just like a nylon or something, like a nylon almost like net, cause it's like see-through. And then it's really easy to tie and then it just goes at your waist and I think it's, I don't know. What do you guys think? I know. So it's $27. Yeah, you love this one? Okay. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the, um, this area, this, the top. The top is like weird because this doesn't bend. This is like a hard piece of, um, underwire and it doesn't flex in the middle either. It's just like, it's like a, kind of like a W. So you can't like fold the top in half, like it doesn't fold in half. But um, overall, okay, good? Okay, good. I'll put back my robe on and we'll look at some other sunscreens. I'm trying to decide on what else to share with you guys. Cause I, I obviously, okay, I grabbed this and I couldn't even find all my sunscreens. Okay, this is just one, like carrier of sunscreen that I have. Oh, this was the one you wanted me to share today. I found it. <laughs> this is that glow recipe watermelon glow. I, I thought I couldn't find it, but then I did. So maybe we should try this one on too. Okay, let's just put my robe back on so I feel more comfortable and we will look at another sunscreen. I have so many. I, I want to try them all, but I feel like the ones that I use on a regular basis are my favorites. I do love Elta MD's um, sunscreens too, and actually we'll look at a tinted one right now. The tint hasn't always been 
the best for my skin, but um, that doesn't mean it looks cute. How does it feel? It feels really comfortable, Lori. The um, this this swimsuit, yeah, it's it's really comfortable. By the way, all of these came with um, the pads, you know, the the cups. But I I took them all out. I decided I liked them, so I was gonna keep them. And and when I do try ons or take pictures and stuff, I prefer to not have the cups and the tags on. So so you know, I'm keeping stuff when I take the tags and the cups out. You think it's a 10-10 across the board? Thanks, more. Okay. Let's look at our face. So I'm going to bring you in more again. Okay. So you can see that my face looks kind of glowy and tinty because we did do that golden hour one. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide, Niacinamide Sunscreen, and it's an SPF 50. And I got this last year. And I forgot about it. So let's see how it goes on my hand. And this has zinc oxide in it of 12%. So what ended up happening in the last two years is there, there ended up being a lot of these hybrids. So this is a chemical and a mineral sunscreen. So they're using chemical sunscreens or chemical actives to up the SPF factor. And then they're also bringing in the zinc, which is a physical barrier, because they want to give you some physical barrier, but they know that people can't stand the white chalkiness of higher percentages of mineral sunscreens. So in the end, you start getting these mineral sun or these hybrid sunscreens where you get some minerals. So this one has 12 and a half or 12 percent of zinc oxide, and then it has those three other um, chemical actives. And this is reef safe. So and it's got nice in my in it, so it's going to help brighten your skin. So actually, this felt pretty good going on my hand. Let's see what it looks like on my face. <laughs> my face is going to be so weirded out because I've been <laughs> so many layers, but I don't care. Let's just see what it looks like. As long as we let them all soak in, then they should be OK. That is really pretty, actually. Do you guys know how people are doing all that like um, under contouring and stuff these days now? That was kind of like on under contour sunscreen. We threw on that that really dark golden hour one and then I threw the niacinamide lighter one on and you can still see like the glow of the golden hour but this kind of like brightened it a little bit more I think. Anyways, that looks pretty good. Jane says, is there an expiration on those sunscreens? How long can you keep it open? keep it un oh keep it if unopened oh that is a good question oh yes there's an expiration on this jane um so this one expires this june so i have I have like a month of <laughs> a month to use this bad boy <laughs> that's the story of my life though like i buy everything or i get sent a ton of stuff too and i i you guys got to know it. I'm never going to get through all this stuff. Okay. The other thing that we did last year that was kind of fun and actually looked pretty amazing because I think now we'll move into um, self tanners. Oh, you know what we can go over really quick? Okay. So this I have pretty, Rita says pretty and glowing and protective. Thanks, Rita. Okay, so what I have, what I added in is, so when I was in Korea, Is Tree, which is not in his tree, Is Tree, different Korean brand, I know, looks similar. They had this hyaluronic acid airy sun stick SPF 50. So it's a stick and so you can just like run it on, I'm not gonna do it on my face just because, well, we put a lot of sunscreen on my face, but you use this like a deodorant stick and you can just like run it on your neck or your face or especially for your kids, like the stick is going to work better. And you, it, they did it like a teardrop or teardrop. So it's easier to get like up underneath your eyes and then pull across. So this is another idea, which is really nice. This one's a nice one too. And it's a UVA, UVB, SPF 50. It has eight types of hyaluronic acid in it says. And it does. It's like a nice... It's a nice, easy finish. Um, 
Okay, then Nick, oh, spell what? Sorry. Nick, what would you like me to spell? The, oh, ends tree or? Yeah, it is convenient, Lori. Yeah, no, it's super quick and easy uh, to share. Okay, so then the other one that I have is from Supergoop, because you guys know I love Supergoop. Oh, Jane says her son is in college and uses a sunstick, loves it. Yeah, got it. Oh, Nick, are you just playing with me? Sorry. Okay, so then we also have this SPF every single, every single face watery lotion, and it's an SPF 50. This one is also a clean chemical. So they're using, so Supergoop is using chemicals, but they're, they consider them clean and they're saying they're reef safe. Okay. So this one goes on really nice too. This hand is not going to get burned. This hand is definitely going to get burned. Oh, also you guys know how I got, um, some of you might know that I got sun poisoning while I was in Tahiti and my hands and my legs and this crazy rash broke out. Well, one person was telling me that they thought it could have been related to, um, some people have said that when you are not used to being outside and you go outside and you're like somewhere like the South Pacific where the sun's going to be really intense, your body doesn't have enough time to acclimate. And so sometimes you can get sun poisoning, but another trigger can be spray sunscreens, I guess. And both were the factor. I took spray sunscreen with us. I took the, um, the super goop play and I was using that a lot. And then, um, and then obviously it was like really hot and I was like out there, but I mean, I was always like shaded, but it was really intense. So anyways, point being is that, um, I might not do spray tan or spray sunscreens anymore just because I don't want to trigger my new development of sun poisoning. Okay. So those all worked. And then the other thing that is amazing, and if you haven't tried this, this is, this is great. Okay, Shelby says she can't do spray sunscreens because her skin breaks out in red dots. Okay, well, maybe that's a form of the skin poisoning because, or the sun poisoning, because that's what was happening to me too. And it had never happened before. I mean, one time it had happened in Hawaii, but I mean, I'm, I don't think like I'm not in the sun that often. Okay, so then the other one that I like, and this isn't a spray, but it's not the same. It's not aer aerosol, it's just a, a oil, but this is the Glow Oil SPF 50. This is so pretty. So it's gonna make your skin look pretty, but it's also protecting you from the sun with a 50. So when you're out there and you're like, but I wanna look oiled up and pretty when I'm laying in on the beach or the lake or whatever, then this oil could be great because it oils you up, but it also gives you that SPF protection that you want. So this is my favorite one now for taking to the beach and oiling up. But before I get there, I will usually rub my body down with now like something like this, like a full on SPF 50 to go everywhere. Okay. Oh, the last one I'll show you is, um, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I apply them everywhere. Um, okay, so then, oh, Melissa, I don't know where the coolie stuff is either. I thought it was going to be there. It must be with the face sprays or something. Yes, Shelby says she loves the spray glow oil. Yeah, that is so nice. Okay, so this is Elta MD's UV. I thought we had this in here. Hopefully I didn't like accidentally delete it. Because I used Ulta MD for such a long time. Oh, Dragon, don't apologize. We're so glad that you're here. No reason to apologize. Okay, the Ulta MD I have over by the makeup stuff because this one is tinted. I'm not going to use it today, but I wanted to show you kind of what the tint looks like. And so it is a 44. And so you could use this as your face SPF if you wanted because it's it's tinted it's going to give you coverage but I mean it's it's still light like you can see the red dot on my hand is still there but it's just like smoothing it out and making it just seem more polished so 
that's another one. This is like one and done. If you're like looking for a good SPF and face polisher and everything in one, then this could be the one because this has a 44 in it. Um, and it's water resistant. It also has a transparent zinc oxide, so it does have a mineral in it. Oh, and, and that's the thing with Elta MD, by the way, it is 100% physical barrier. So they aren't using, I don't believe any chemicals. They're only, okay, yeah, here it is. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So just those two. So it's 100% a physical barrier. So did that help you guys? Oh, Dragon says, this is Julie Melton. Okay, welcome, Julie. Okay, should we put on the last swimsuit and then we'll just do our face and polish up? All right, sounds good. Me and my <laughs> rhetorical questions. So I'll pull this out again and we'll try on this swimsuit. And then I also have a different cover up for this. So I'm gonna get, so it's like the greens. I want to do a try on reel of these out by the pool, but I'm afraid it's way too cold still to like go outside and get in and out of bathing suits. Here is this green one, and I think it's really cute. I like how the top is. Again, like the uh, peacock one that I tried on earlier, there is no snap or anything to do in the back. It just gets pulled over, which I prefer. It's just easier for me. And then the, the back I like, I feel like this is like pretty full coverage. Maybe not full, full coverage, but definitely like, the coverage that makes me feel the most secure so I like and most comfortable so I like how these bottoms are and then I saw this cover-up in chartreuse which is like one of my favorite colors so it's a dress but it ties at the top so you step into it and I have a small in this bathing suit and a small in this dress okay so you just like pull it up and you stick your arms in it. And this is what I'm gonna wear today. <laughs> okay, so then this, so I mean, it's great like as a bathing suit cover up because you can have your bathing suit on and then you can like, so this ties like this. And probably I don't want to do a bow. I just want to like have it hanging. Yeah. So that's pretty easy. I wish I would have had this to take with. I mean, I took so many clothes to Bora Bora that I never wore, but this would have been like a great one, I think. And this dress, let me see. Sorry, I never toggled the suit either. Okay, so the suit is $33, it's by Cup Sheet, and then this dress is $28. And both are on Amazon, and they are linked in my description, and I toggled them on the carousel for you guys. And if you're on TikTok, then you can just go up to my profile URL, join my Amazon Live, and you'll see everything down in the carousel. Okay, good? The back is interesting. It's they, because they have the side slits, they, they uh, cinch it in there. I don't know if that's like that attractive to have it being like that in the back, but it's probably not the end of the world either. Okay. Let's do our face. Let's do our face and our hair. And we'll, and then we'll go on with the rest of our days. Okay. Here we are. What are we going to do? 
Oh, one thing that I didn't bring up are these Soleil Drops by Jurgen. So these are kind of amazing. You just need to be careful with them because they can like go a little bit overboard. But these are bronzing drops and I'm not going to use them right now because I already have some bronzer on my face and a lot going on. But what you can do with this is you can just take like one of your face creams. I think I've mixed it with like LMS face cream, like just a basic face cream. And I mean, you could do it straight on your face, but it's going to be really intense. Or you can mix it in with like a face cream. And then one of the things that's a good idea to do is to have like a, a brush like this that's, um, you know, really packed and you use it to buff it into your face and especially into like all the corners and up into your hairline and everything so that you don't have any of it um, collecting weird. But definitely your face can look so beautiful after using these drops and buffing them in with a brush and some cream. It's kind of amazing how like beautiful your skin can look after using those. Oh, you like the color? Hey, Jassy Joe, how are you? Okay. Well, for today, it's going to be really, really simple. We're keeping it simple because <laughs> I'm going to be editing all day because I have been so, I've been trying, but I've been just, I don't know, I've been just so slow at it this week. Um, I made some headway yesterday, but then again, got some got kind of lazy. So I'm going to use uh, my skin tint by Ilya. These are this is this amazing um, SPF 40 skin tint and it's gonna make your face look beautiful, but because I thin mine down so much, I don't use this as my main SPF. I, I'm glad it has SPF in it, I'll take it, but I'm always putting on an SPF first. And then we'll just like get some on our hand. I am using Rendezvous ST1. So I think it's like one of their lightest shades in this. It, I probably could do a darker shade. This one is a little light for me, but it's okay because I just use my other like products to just like make it look a little bit darker. But I do really love how bright this will make my face look. And it looks like skin, like I don't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup or anything like that. And I am a sponge person. I love putting my makeup on with sponges. Oh, thanks, Jassy Joe. And then over here, um, I'm still on vacation mode. Oh, Tisha, I know. I am. I've just been... I was even saying to Jason this morning, I'm like, I'm so sad that we've already been to Tahiti and back and it's been like a week since we, over a week since we got back and <laughs> I wasn't ready for it to be over. Okay. So we have some on our face now. Oh my gosh, my neck. Just so you know, on self tanner, when you put a lot of like oils or anything on your skin, it does break it up faster. And because I put stuff on my neck a lot, I think I break up my suntan there like immediately after doing it. <laughs> so cross. <laughs> okay. So I have this say, uh, skin glow. It's really beautiful. So we'll just like get a little bit on our hand and I'm just gonna kind of just like Go on the high points of my face. You got my nose. I'm gonna put some on my nose. I should have actually just taken the say. I could have mixed it in with my Ilia when I went to put it on my face. I just forgot. Okay, and then we have the Laura Mercier bronzer. Some of you saw me use this while I was in Tahiti and kind of like made myself bronzer, more bronze looking. So that's what we're gonna use right now. Tisha, I haven't done one only dedicated to luggage and travel accessories, but 
I do have idea lists here of the stuff that I take and um, maybe I should do one that's just like geared directly to that. Okay, so then we can put this and it actually goes further than you think. Like I think in, when I was making that reel in Tahiti, I, I took a lot. <laughs> okay, so for me, I'm always looking at darkening out the peripheral area of my face, especially up in my forehead to help give shadow and contour since my forehead is tall. And then if you're getting older, like yours truly, truly, then you also get um, recession of hair. So like at your hairline. So I just like try to always like push the bronzer into my hairline just to make it look more camouflaged on how thin it's getting and then I'll bring it on the side of my face and then I can just like push that all up like in a C formation I like to push it into my eye socket too And then you can take the remainder like on your neck <laughs> where it's all breaking apart anyways. So that is like just quick bronze makeup. Let's just do a brow really quick just to give ourselves like a little bit more feature since I'm only doing that on my face. And then I'm just like really quick with my little lines in there. And then I use my spoolie to just move around the crown that I put in there and just like make the lashes or the brows look a little bit fuller. And I'm always brushing my brow hairs up, especially in the front or at the near my near my nose, like these front pieces, I like always want them to be up which is where wax comes in really handy. And I do have that new brow wax, but it's upstairs, so we won't worry about it. But that actually has been pretty cool. You could even, because <laughs> who cares? So if you have your like one brow pencil, you could just do your eyes too. You just line them. Because you really don't need a million things coming from someone who has a million things. Like all of these products that you could just like use. You don't need an eye pencil if you have an eyebrow pencil. Okay. And then we might need just like a little bit of help. Just let's see. Can I make a little? What do I have? Will you work? Just to go back through and like smudge out that color so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay. That's better. And then you can just put on whatever lip oil you have on hand. Okay. I realized now that as I was doing this that I forgot to talk about our different, um, sun tanners or body tanners. So I'm gonna feature the two that I've been using the most 
over the last couple years and the one that's, that I'm actually wearing right now. So we'll drop my hair. It is just like a really like beautiful, easy, bronzy look. You don't need like other colors on your face. Oh, thanks, Dragon. You're so kind. Sorry, I missed the link. Okay, wait. Tisha says, great. Thank you. I'm always shopping for light luggage sets to pack more clothes. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so hair's done, face is done. We're dressed. And then here are the two that I've been using the most. And actually, this one, the Bondi Sands, I've used this for over two years. And this is like my third bottle. I really like this one. This is an express tanner. You do it in one hour. So I'll spray it on my body. I will like maybe put on, like I have a black robe that I wear whenever I do my self tanner. Um, it doesn't actually transfer, but you need, you need to wait a little bit for it to dry. But then depending on your skin tone, so you'll you'll put this on, you'll marinate in it for an hour and then you'll rinse it off and your skin will start to activate. But you can sit in it longer and it will um, act, it will get darker the longer you let it sit on your skin and then you rinse off and it's like amazing. Like, so I really like this one. This one also has a great color, the San Tropez. I like both of their colors. The San Tropez is a little warmer. I would say the Bondi Sands is a little cooler, which I do like that it's a little bit cooler for me. Um, this one is longer. So this one is one that you put on and you're gonna be in it for like eight hours for the day but then you're gonna rinse it off and same thing. It just like develops. And actually this was like fully developed when I rinsed it off yesterday. Like it was ready to go. Like I was really happy. So anyways, I am an extremely fair colored person and I obviously cannot be in the sun to get my skin to look more bronzed. So for me, it's all about the tanners, the self tanners and protecting my skin with sunscreen. So anyways, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that this like helped a little bit. I hope that you saw some new suits, some sunscreens that maybe you've been thinking about or you haven't used yet or you want to try. And definitely some, I mean, if you're white like me and you want to be a little bronzed up, then definitely the self tanners. The other thing that I'll tell you is that um, when applying self tanner, one of the ways to make these kinds of products go further is instead of using these mitts. Now I use these mitts cause I get lazy. Um, they're fine, but I prefer when I remember is to use latex gloves. Latex gloves help your body. Like you can work it so much faster, work the product through, but then also they're not soaking it up like this sponge mitt does. So I feel like you waste a lot of product with the sponge mitt versus like if you use this, you're not getting any absorption beside your body. So that means you can spread it so much further. And then I just feel like I can get like a better buff with my hands when I'm wearing these. So that's just a little personal tip for you. And anyways, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.